Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to um, quickly show how to compute the histogram of a grayscale image. So uh, I've prepared a, a notebook um, where I just for the moment uh, load an image, so this uh, walking the JPEG uh, image, which is a grayscale uh, image. And uh, I've printed the, the, the contents of the of the array and the shape of the image. So as we can see, uh, and as we've seen in the previous video, we have uh, an image where the pixel values are encoded as unsigned 8-bit integers, so with values between 0 and 255. Um, and so the image histogram, what does it tell us? It will tell us um, for each of the possible values that the pixel can take, so from 0 to 255, how many pixels in the pictures um, have that value. So um, how can we uh, compute this? Well, the easy, um, the easy way um, to, to approach the problem is just to uh, go through every pixel of the image and to, uh, to check its value and to update a uh, counter for each possible value. So what we can do, we can initialize a, an array and uh, one quick way to do that uh, with Python is that we if we want to initialize an array with uh, zeros and uh, 256 uh, bins, we can do um, this. Uh, we can use this uh, generator notation. This zero or the in range 256. So this will uh, range 256 will uh, iterate from zero to 255. And uh, it will put zeros everywhere in this uh, in this array. So I have an, uh, an array with 256 values, each at zero. And so now I can iterate through the uh, through the array. So the quick and easy way, although uh, an optimized way of doing it, would be to go uh, first um, through the uh, y values. So the y's values are in the uh, first axis in the, in the array, then in the x-axis, and I can update the, um, the uh, histogram by taking the values at uh, y-x coordinates and increment by uh, 1. If I do that, I will fill uh, this uh, this array uh, with all of the uh, all of the for each value the number of pixels that have that value, and then I can uh, use uh, matplotlib so that I've already uh, included uh, here to create a new plot. And what I want to plot in this uh, in this uh, figure is the, uh, the histogram. And by default, so if I just give one uh, argument to, to plot, it will um, it will automatically fill the, the x-axis with a range uh, of the same size as the uh, as the array that I give that I've given, and in the y-axis it will put the value of the array. So I have here the shape of the uh, of the histogram. Can also represent that as a uh, bar graph, which is more accurate um, for for a a uh, a discrete um, histogram such as this one. Uh, so for that, I will have to, uh, I think in this order, um, explicitly uh, give the, uh, the range. No, that's the other way around. There we go. Um, so in this case, each bar represents one uh, possible value that the pixels can take. So. Um, Another way that we can um, that we can do uh, the same the same thing. So let me re uh, reinitialize the, the array here. Um, so the problem with this uh, with this method is that it will not scale very well to um, to much uh, larger uh, images. So it's not very efficient in, in Python to do um, such a, uh, an architecture with. Uh, um, for loops within for loops. So we can, uh, instead of iterating through every pixel, we can iterate through every uh, possible uh, value.
and this time what we will um, what we need to uh, sorry. so we'll update we'll set the value of uh, uh, in the histogram and what do we need here well we need to check in the image which pixels have that value and we can quickly do that uh, in uh, with numpy arrays by just doing the uh, equal operation so here we'll check uh, for each pixel of uh, m if it's equal to v and then we can do the uh, sum of uh, the results so every pixel where it was true will have a value of one and if we sum all of them we have the number of pixels which had the value v i will go in another video about a bit more into details in the these types of uh, numpy, numpy array um, indexing and, uh, and operations uh, because it can really make things a lot uh, faster and, uh, and easier. And so I can uh, have the exact same result, but this time I only iterate through uh, all of the values and this uh, operation is um, accelerated in, uh, in C uh, behind the scenes uh, so that it uh, can be a lot faster for, for, for bigger images. I could actually do all of that in uh, one line if I do that. Uh, so that's another advantage of using this method is that I can uh, make the code a lot, uh, a lot uh, more compact, um, and I will have so the exact same results. So what uh, kind of um, information do I do I get from from these? Uh, uh, histograms. So in later videos, we will see how we can uh, use histogram to to uh, to create some uh, some filters to to segment the image. But just by looking at it, so it can also give us some uh, already some some information. Uh, for instance, if we see, uh, as is the case here, um, a very big uh, a very large amount of pixels uh, at uh, at zeros, uh, it can be an indication that the image, for instance, is underexposed. So in this case, it's probably an more an artistic, artistic choice from the from the photograph, but it could be an indication that there is some uh, underexposition going on. Same if you have a lot of um, maybe a, a very high peak in the in the uh, close to 255, that would indicate that maybe the image is overexposed, um, or that you uh, will be missing at least uh, uh, a lot of the details in uh, the darker or brighter parts of of the uh, of the image. And in general, it gives you so an indication of its if it's a, a darker image, a lighter image, and the, the general uh, distribution of the uh, of the values. Um, 